JustAZ.com Productions with JustAZ Hydroponics, Aquaponics Project Part 1, Setting Up the Fish Barrel. Hi, Aquaponics is a marriage between aquaculture and hydroponics. We at JustAZ Hydroponics are putting together an aquaponics system and are going to be documenting the process. We set up a fish barrel and are going to pump the nutrient-rich water from the fish barrel into our grow bed. We are also going to be using the water from the fish barrel to sustain a couple of lettuce racks. After cutting off the top of this food safe barrel, Bob built a frame from scrap wood. The frame keeps the sides of the barrel from bowing out. There's about 45 gallons of water in there. The frame allows for airflow and the top is screened to prevent debris from getting into the water. We'll run the plumbing to and from the grow bed through a removable board at the back of the top. We also added an overflow valve to the side of the barrel. We've put a 3 inch air stone into the water to oxygenate the water. We'll also monitor the water temperature to ensure we can keep fish alive outside here in Phoenix in the summer months. We have a floating thermometer that records the temperature at the top of the barrel and another thermometer that sits at the bottom. We're seeing temperatures of around 80 degrees, which should be okay for the fish. Next, we need to add a filter. We used a clean juice bottle to make the filter, drilling a few holes around the cap and a few holes around the bottom of the bottle, which will be the top of the filter. We drilled one more hole at the side near the cap to insert an air line. How this works is the water is sucked up into the filter and through the cap while air is pushed out through the holes at the top filtering the water through a biological medium that we put into the filter. We're using aqua chargers, a product we found locally. Those little blue discs host good bacteria that convert ammonia to nitrates. The fish won't die from ammonia poisoning and the plants benefit from the nitrates. A sponge fitted to the bottom of the filter traps unwanted debris and will rinse that out during routine maintenance. The biological medium stays in the filter playing permanent host to the bacteria. The filter is assembled and filled with the biological medium. It's attached to a brick so it rests on the bottom of the barrel. It's bubbling so we know the filter is working. As water is sucked into the filter, the good bacteria is released into the tank. The liquid in the aqua charger's bottle contains biological culture that activates those little blue discs. We'll add that to the water and then in a few days we can add the fish. We're adding four goldfish and a catfish to start. The fish come from a local store and are in bags with water and trapped air. We'll float the bags in the barrel for 30 minutes or so, so the water temperatures in the bags can equalize with the water temperature in the barrel. Next, we opened the bags and hung them from the side for about 15 minutes to equalize the air and water temperatures. Then, we released the fish into their new home. To ensure the fish remain healthy, and that the biological filter is doing its work, we test the water for ammonia levels using an ammonia test kit. For this kit, 
we take a sample of the water from the barrel and dip a test strip into that sample. Agitate the strip for 30 seconds and then remove it from the water. Hold the test strip pad side up for 30 seconds and then compare it to the chart on the bottle in the kit. We appear to be in the safe zone, meaning low to no levels of ammonia. Started this project in late June, uh, hoping really just to keep the fish alive. Uh, it's now mid-August and we uh, originally lost two fish within the first 48 hours, but since then everything's been going good and we have seven fish living in the barrel and they're growing and very healthy. And in our second video, we're going to start with the grow bed. Thanks for watching.